Don't do that, England fans. How dare you criticise Hungarian football? But How you, dare you? I, I don't remember a Hungarian captain racially abusing a, a black player. I remember England's captain doing it, so don't point fingers <laughs> and talk to me about <laughs> we're not as bad as them. <laughs> you're a lot worse, mate. You're a lot worse, mate, because you're captain. You're captain. We don't call his name because we don't call his name, but you know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Played for one of the most racialist clubs in, in English football. And I'm not going to take back my talk. And just because you signed Romelu Lukaku don't mean oh, we're not racist. <laughs> you know, because when I, when I remember Chelsea fans saying, oh, today we got a point at Sheffield Wednesday, but I'm not celebrating a point. For my, in my eyes, we lost because Paul Canneville scored the equaliser for Chelsea and the Chelsea fans wouldn't acknowledge him because of the colour of his skin. English fans, mate. Sure. Affinity Extra, be extra. The views and opinions expressed in this podcast may not be aligned to those of Affinity Extra. Hey guys, this is your boy here, Roger Moore here on the Roger Ramini show, the RVM show. And, you know, we're just keeping it going, flowing on, just bumping into Anthony on a weekly basis and then just, just for doing our phone call, Zoom call, whatever we do with our guys there. We've got DJ Marks on the wet, on the airwaves today, whichever way you look at it, or, or we call it internet anyway still, yeah. So uh, he's all plugged in and we're going to be talking about the issues of the week when it comes to football and also the good things to talk about this week in, in the football. We're going to kick off and, and get straight into it. I'm gonna just hit off guys with the um the, with the qualifiers. Let's just get into this stuff, man, because uh we had the qualifiers this week here. Yeah. Um the results and on this show Anthony's been quite depressing about um the pie. You know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. um, about his influence and he seems to be leading the revival in Holland and it's amazing how a defender def strong defense makes you more confident yeah, yeah, yeah. And Haaland looks a different team with, with Van Dijk. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I did, I, there was all raving. I never really seen too much of him. You know, the guy got sent off for Haaland. You know, what's his name? The one who went to Juventus and flopped. He's flopping at Juventus. Not flopped. Um, the, the, um, oh, the defender. The defender. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. He was at Ajax. And then Lint, he got, he, Lint, what is it? Dillard. Yeah, Dillard. Yeah. yeah, so when he went to... Um, Juventus. To Juventus, there's a lot of hype about him. Like he's better than Van Dyke, you know what I mean? Like he's the real deal. Yeah, he was, you know, the, he was, he was he, the man he, at the he, time. He, yeah, yeah, he was the man. And Van Dyke has just basically proved that you know what he's coming to back into the um into the uh, into the Liverpool uh, sorry the, the Dutch team and has just added that the confidence in the Dutch players to actually go for it, you know. And again, Holland's just now getting a few younger players in and whatsoever. So I think it's I think it's really fantastic, you know. Um, but I don't know, you know. The pie scored. Um, I shot his a hat trick the other day. Yeah, um, that's um, so, um, Anthony, are you willing to um, will increase your no rating skills for the pie? No, you know what, Memphis the pie. I think for myself, being honest, before he we went to Man United, I remember him, big player at PSV, had a massive season, went to Old Trafford with a lot of expectation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, didn't really work out for mm. him. Mourinho, as soon as he came through the deal, palmed him off <laughs> to Leon. He, he found himself again at Leon. Cause, but you see, the Memphis Depay now playing at Barca. Barcelona, playing for the Dutch team, is a different Memphis Depay because at Man United, he's playing as a winger. Yeah, man. Yeah. And where, like, now he's playing more as a central striker from yeah. what I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that yeah. suits him because he's, 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 he's strong. Yeah. He, I mean, he makes Jack... Jack um, Grealish's um, calves look, 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 look anorexic, really. <laughs> you know, let's be real. You know what I mean? He's thick, man. He's thick, he's thick, he's thick. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? The yeah. African in yeah, him, the yeah, African yeah. in him is. Come true, bro. Come true. Yeah, man. So, you know, one thing I want to do, I want to congratulate Memphis Depay because he's reached a milestone of 33 goals for the Dutch. Mm. And, and that's the same amount as the late, great Johan Cruyff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good, that's a good milestone. It's lick off, man. He's looked the same milestone as Rowan Cruyff. So I hope he goes on and does what he's doing and he gets the recognition for it. Mm -hmm. Because he's doing, he's following Cruyff's footsteps and he's playing at Barca. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah running yeah, yeah, things yeah, yeah, in the yeah, Dutch yeah, yeah, squad, yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah,
bringing back Dutch football to where it, to where Dutch football needs to be, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Cause, no. Because Dutch football, growing up as kids, we grew up on Dutch football. The Cliverts, the Davids, the Seedolfs, the, um, the, yeah. the Rijkaards. Mm. You know, sorry for being all black players, but that's how it was. You know what I mean? Just real talk. And Over it, Mars, yeah. the, the Ajax, camps. man. Remember, the Ajax? Ajax. Remember yeah. that team? I don't know for you, Marcus. For yeah. George you know what I'm saying? All, all, the, all like Ajax was like, you know, he's like. Ajax was black. <laughs> 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 it's been real. Ajax was black. Because think about it, we had Seedorf. Yeah. David. Yeah. Finidi George. Yeah. Canu. Yeah. Um, Rijkaard. Yeah. Patrick Clover. Yeah. That's that's what, six, six, six. The, 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 and I'm sure there's more there. Was that's Vinter right. there? Right, um, Reisinger. Reisinger, yeah, yeah, Reisinger was Reisinger. there. Yeah, Aaron yeah. Vinter. Vinter, yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. eight. Jeez. Eight. Well, Back know, in them days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that was... That, that, Check that. it out, bro. That's, that's, some, that's, yeah. why, that's why you have to love... Ajax, that's why Ajax had to, Ajax had to bring the Bob Marley because, <laughs> you know, they just blacked yeah. it out. Because there's yeah. no, if you look at football teams around in the European, mm. there's nobody really who, who, who brought black players like that. Yeah, and man. we're not talking about just big part black players, we're talking about big, big ballers. Yeah, yeah, no, big proper ballers. Mm. All of them were bought, all the players we've mentioned at Ajax yeah. were all bought. Can you say Kano? I know, we say Kano, but yeah. we forgot um, Winston Bogard. Nine, yeah, 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 yeah. So, look at that. That's a squad of Ajax players, and just nine black players in there. And let's be real if you look at that nine, the majority of them would have been starters. I remember Finney, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cannon was probably the only one who was he was coming on and off, yeah. He was, was on and off. Clive was the main man, yeah, he was the main man. And then he had um, Davids was on the left, he was even in the center, you know what I'm saying? Seedorf was in the center next to Danny Blin. Yeah. yeah, I'm saying, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. So yeah, yeah, Danny Blaine's experience, or, 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 or Rijkaard. Rijkaard. You know what I'm saying? Because Rijkaard were coming, yeah. well, Rijkaard were more play sweeper though. Yeah, you know what I'm when saying? He went yeah, back to yeah, Ajax, yeah, he, 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 yeah, we're sweeper. Yeah, right. And he got like Rijkaard, who I never really rated anyway. Still, I thought it was alright. Yeah, right, right back. back yeah, yeah. He's just, he, he worked for the Ajax system anyway. Still, yeah. yeah. But I'm sure there's a left back there, bro. Who was left back? It wasn't Wichka. I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember the left back, bro. To be honest. Ah. Left but, I don't know, Bogard was a centre half and he went to Chelsea. Mm. He must have played about two games and he, he, he sat out the whole of his contract. Made that pee, made that pee. contract, he just didn't play. Mm. But he didn't make no noise, he just sat out the whole of his contract. Yeah, man. And, and like I said, then that's what that's why that's why we like to see them man come through and like to see Holland with black at, black players yeah, in it, man. man. You know what I'm saying? You know. Holland, Holland, Holland have that, for me, for me anyway, I can't talk for him, but for me, they have that mystique about Brazil for the fact that... Mm. You know, when there's a World Cup, Brazil's my first team, standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After yeah, Brazil, yeah, yeah. for me, it would have been the Dutch because mm, of the mm. black contingent. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. Now, obviously, I can choose a Ghana or a Cameroon instead, you know, mm. to do that. But mm. at the time, growing up as a youth, it was the Dutch. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. No, that's calm. No, that's good, man. That's good. I think that, um, no, 100%. And I think, you know, so salute to Depay coming through. And they got some young boys coming through now, right? Man, I don't even know half the names, man, but all coming through. So it's good to see them. But again, you always need a strong defence. And, and as much as I'm laughing at Liverpool with Van Dijk, I must say Van Dijk just brings that um, mm -hmm. that, that, that solidity, man. What are you saying, Marks? Well, Van Dijk's... Uh, sorry, you, sorry Mark, you know what? I, yeah. I, I want to touch on, on, on Depay because, like, I think he's doing well oh. now, but... But for me, the pie kind of falls into um, that same category as a lot of like players we would have looked at um, back in the day and said to myself, you know, yeah, these guys will be like top, top, top ballers. You're going back and you're looking at people that were highly rated at the time, like the, the Gutsers, the Athalies, all these kind of people. And I think the pie is doing well now, but he's 27 now and he hasn't really, for someone at 27, I think he would have, I thought he would have been a lot further on in terms of what he's achieved, the recognition he's getting. Because um, when he like was younger, this guy w was being tipped as one of the, the, the best attackers to come to yes, come through. I hear so that, I think he, I think he's kind of reached that age now, maybe because of maturity and everything else, where he's kind of like you know put his head down and he's made it more about his game. I don't know, but um, yeah, I mean definitely you know congrats to him on the way he's he's playing now. Um, but I think he, he even he will leave his career whenever he retires and say you know what I didn't really achieve the levels I I would have achieved. If I had gone a different route, I think. I think, I hear where you're coming from, you know, bro. And I think it goes back to, as I said, because like you said, when he was coming through, he, he came through as, he was the new star of Dutch football. Yeah. When, yeah. He went, when Van Gaal brought him to Old Trafford, um, mm. that first season, again, I think 
because of the transition Manchester United were going through at the time, Van Gaal came in trying to get his methods across to, yeah, man. to Man United. Because mm. he brought he brought Depay specifically because Depay's his guy in it. Even when he, mm. if, when he left and when he became the national manager, Depay's his guy. And and they were saying now that Van Gaal's gone back to the Dutch, Depay's scoring hat tricks now. Yeah, 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 stuff yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I agree. Everything what you're saying, bro, I think his career should have been a lot more, should be further where he is. But I think because mm. of that, that that sticky period at Old Trafford, because Man United yeah. were going through their thing and then I think if, even in sense... I'm trying say, to like, remember, was it was he uh, an injury from player at, Traf- and, at no, Man United? No, if you remember, the first season... Because he, yeah. literally he only played 33 games. Yeah. I mean, the, total for them. But listen what I'm saying. The yeah. first season, Van Gaal, he was there. He played the mm. 33. When Marino came, Marino palmed him off, bro. Mm. Remember, he didn't play it. I don't think... I don't even know mm. if he played a game for Marino. Nah, nah. And, 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 and this is an interesting and stat. And they sold well, him. Like, they sold him. And they, and they put that buy it, buy it back clause. Yeah, United yeah. had first refusal mm. on yeah. Depay. But maybe, maybe, maybe the reason Mourinho let him go, because like you said, he played games at under Van Gaal. He got his 33 games. But didn't do much. Scored, t- about, he, scored about yeah, two goals, didn't he? And yeah, he didn't literally, really literally, two goals, literally yeah. two goals. Literally two goals. So yeah, yeah, for yeah, an yeah. attacker to score two goals in 33 games, for me... Whether you're playing as like an attacking mid it's or cool. a striker, it's shocking. It's shocking but, stat. But you know what? Again, if you notice, certain players will go to club and they'll get that, and that oh, he's set. Oh, he's got to take time to set. He's, uh, he's foreign mm. and he's coming. Da, da, da. Whereas other certain foreigners don't have that. And I think maybe Depay yeah. was one of those geezers who they never gave him that. Yeah, yeah, him, yeah. Oh, he's just got to come in and hit the ground running. Whereas mm. other players. Are given more of a time to come in, settle in, hit the ground. Like Timo, oh, 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 Timo oh, Werner. I was just about to say this. Listen, yeah, man. I, had a bit, I was just about to say the same thing Tino now. Timo Werner. The, the Tino Werner. Right. Yeah. So, so Marcus, so what you saying now? Yeah. Sorry, guys. I just got excited about that one because I watched Werner miss a chance this week. Yeah. Yeah. The highlights are shocking. Yeah. Yeah. We can't talk him too. We can't talk him too much because. Let's what? not get twisted. What is it again, man? Came... Depay, you know? He's stuck in the pie, though. He's stuck in the pie. He says, no, no, no. There's a difference here because the pie. Well, because right? when you see. Brenner's white. Well, no, no, no. It's, it's not even that. When you see um, the pie came to Man United, like we know, he went for that period. I, I'm not, I wasn't dogging him. I was saying, I was trying to explain maybe why Mourinho let him go okay, because he okay, would basically yeah, okay, on the yeah. stats. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. And he had only scored two in 33. So for what Mourinho was trying to do, yeah, he couldn't afford a player that's an attacking, an attacking position he's to have those getting, kind of stats. He's only getting two goals um, and probably two yeah. assists or something mm-hmm. like that. So, Werner, um, I, I think Werner in terms of what he had achieved goal-wise had a better reputation than the pie when he came to the Premiership yeah, anyway. Of course. So there, 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 there was already that thing that he's going to bring those goals to Chelsea. Do you know what I'm saying? But let's not be get it twisted, you know. It's the same thing that went and Liverpool went through with Suarez. You know what I'm saying? He had a good um, goal scoring um, tally before he came to Liverpool. And in his first season, he was shocking. The amount of bars he was hitting was just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's not until, like, I think, the second season where he really started putting his head down. We saw the, the link up with him and Sturridge. Yeah, um, I was going to say, Mark, I think, yeah. I think so Suarez... I th- I, probably we would have struggled if you're playing up front with yeah. Andy Carroll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, with with I Werner, I do believe. Okay, he's had a he had a, a, a bad first season. I do believe if he was to be con- played consistently for for another season, I reckon we might start seeing the best of of Werner. But then the thing is, they brought in Lukaku now, so it's like you know, with all the other attacking options they got, you know, how high up that list does Werner fall now? I think I think Werner will play a lot on the left. And there's Tommy Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're, we're Lukaku down the middle, Werner on the left, and probably Pulisic or Havertz or somebody mm. on the right, and they'll go that way. But I think, mm. even though he's on the left, I think they're going to still expect a big goal tr- contribution from him. Yeah. Because that's, he scores mm. a lot of coming in from the left. He's that kind of player. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, uh, I, think, I think they'll utilise him kind of like a, a, a gigs kind of role in that kind of attacking left, yeah. coming straight behind yeah. your van yeah. destroyers yeah. 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 and whatnot. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Now, I, 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 do, I do think Werner's got get, gets away with murder because for me, I'm sure Tammy Hamber Abraham did 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 it was a better it was a wow. better finisher. I um, mean, wow. he even he got sold for 40 million to to Roma. to to Roma. So you know maybe he's he's more fluent in German. So I think Tuku maybe well, go go be, go. Being honest, let's be honest and let's be real. Put put the facts there. Timo Werner's German. Thomas Tuchel's German. So he's gone with his compatriots. Yeah, man. Sure. And he's even to be fair to give Thomas Tuchel credit. He's he released. even said mm. that. He's overlooked my man. Yeah. Mm. You know, maybe at the detriment. 
Mm-hmm. So I ha- you have to give him props for probably for admitting that because not yeah. many managers would come out and say them kind of things. Mm. You know, mm. but ultimately, like you said, it was the black player who got sold. Yeah, simple. You know, and, and that's the way and it goes. And Chelsea, and, and you've got to remember, this this Tommy Abrahams was at Chelsea from he was eight. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, man. You know yeah, man. I mean? So you know, well, like selling, a lot of black you're players, se- you're selling a Chelsea product of Chelsea. Mm-hmm. To keep your compatriot, yeah, man, and you can't justify keeping your compatriot. Yeah, 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 He's, he scored at least half the amount of goals as a, or as appearances. Yeah. So you, he was getting at least a goal um, per, every other every game. game. Every yeah. game. Yeah. Which, is, which is a good feedback. He was brilliant at Villa. Yeah. Villa fans yeah. loved him. Yeah, 37 goals, 25 at Villa. So that's, that's really good. Yeah, man. No, no, so no, 37 no. appearances, 25 was it, goals. Was it, was yeah. that in the championship, though? I um, mean, in the championship, yeah, 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 yeah. Which, which you expect a premiership ball to come, but he's still young, and you know, you get rough, yeah, up, rough yeah, up in the yeah. championship. Mm. It is a, is a tough pressure league. But he, he, even even his, his um, thing at Chelsea, I mean, like, you know, he's had 58 yeah, appearances, 21 he's, goals. He's, so he's, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. So he was he's quite decent. decent. Considering, yeah. if you look at those appearances, a lot of them are substitution. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, you know uh, what I mean? So, and it's, there's no, there's no consistency. Respect. It's like coming on one game, then coming off the other. You got no consistency. So, like mm. I said, you know, a salute there. And, and if you think, why are you highlighting black footballers? Because they don't get highlighted, guys. Now, let's 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 go Italia. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about Italia. Now, Italia struggled against um, Austria. Uh, was it Austria? And Gio- Giovini or Giovini, what his name is? Um, my guy uh, missed um, the penalty. Um, you saw that, didn't it? Yeah. Drew. Um, Italia when they when they when they drew and he missed the penalty against, against Switzerland. Switzerland. That's it. Switzerland, yeah. yeah? yeah Switzerland, and yeah. they just didn't have the cut. Co- the strikers just kept them fluffing the lines. You know what I'm saying for Italy. The next game, the being a Moyes King. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And Moyes King popped off. Two, yeah, man, two, popped off. And it is a very good first goal. So we have to sleep Moyes King. Oh, man. Come oh. on. Come on. Mm-hmm. What, what, well, okay. Okay. I think you 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 got to look you got to look at the opposition. I mean, you go from playing Switzerland to Lithuania, yeah, right. If you can't bang five or what, at least three goals against Lithuania as Italy, yeah, you got you got issues as a as a team. Come on, you're playing Switzerland, yeah. Switzerland are not no 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 knock over night knock over, knock. Was it knock up Nigel? Knock over. I can't remember how the saying goes, mm. but you know they would have got a good game for Switzerland. Lithuania, I expected them to go there and dominate. So yeah. why is he coming in here? Right, he played against a much weaker opposition, in my opinion. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Nah, uh, yeah, no, no, I hear what he's saying, but you know what? He, he, did he see his goals, though? There were no... Mo- did he, I, saw, he, no, I see the goals. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he, Moise he, King. He's talent. Don't, don't if Moise King, <laughs> that, like I said, no, like I said, if Moise King fulfills his potential, I think he can be as good, if not better, than a Mobile that they got there. You know what I mean? And, you know, so, the, you know, the Italians have got some decent strikers, but they haven't got standout strikers. And like Spain, yeah, but don't, unless you have Kit Chiesa, who doesn't like who doesn't run on the last shoulder yeah they need a target man and they don't really have that i don't know you know and i don't know if you would agree or disagree about the whole italian flex yeah but i don't know i don't that, that that's for me moise king well done you've done a brilliant job and i think they need to stick with this kid now and work with him he's at juventus now and just work mm. with it bro I, I i agree with you but i, I think i'm gonna carry on I'm gonna just i just a quick thing if, um, if you don't mind um literally i think We've got to look at how the Italians look at him. Because if you look it's at the black. team they fielded against Lithuania, mm. it literally was one of those things where they, they expected they were going to win that game. So like all, all of their top dogs that were playing the European thing were on the bench. You know what I'm saying? Even man like Cellini and, 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 and them guys there. So it was very much a second string team and they gave my man a man. And I, yeah. I, I did believe Moise King, he's, a, he's, he's like definitely a very talented player. But I think if we're talking about World Cup qualifiers, I think this is the kind of game we will see me in. The ones that the Italians might think to themselves, we expect to win this regardless of what team we put out. But um, when it comes down to playing like the games where they say we need to win these Immobile games or we need to choice. dominate, I don't think, yeah, Immobile I don't think that he's going to get a look. I think, you know yeah. what? I think it's that same. I think, and it's sorry to say this, and I might be wrong, and, you know, people, Italians, if you're watching, he took the show, but I think he's, the colour of his skin plays a big part because... Yeah, definitely. Because... Mario Balotelli was in the Premiership, winning Premiership titles. 
But he wasn't playing every every game for Italy. Italy yeah, yeah, he yeah. wasn't starting every game for Italy. Yeah, they, they got him in desperate. You, you know exactly. I mean, the guy he took Italy to the wasn't it the last Euros final where they got slapped no. up by Spain? The one before. The one before. Before one before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Italy weren't expected to get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was Balotelli. Yeah. Who carried them? In, I remember he scored some big Germany. goals. Yeah, yeah that's they, right. They, in Germany semi final. That's yeah, right. So you know, and I think I think that's the problem. The Italians. The Italians. Yeah. Are not gonna unless unless you're killing Mbappe, born in Milan. <laughs> you know you're gonna start, and even then, I think they'd make an excuse not to start him because Moise Keane I know can run a lot faster than all those Italian frontmen. Oh, probably, definitely. Probably the it's only like, person. He might be the fastest in the whole team. Probably the one who's <laughs> giving the hardest is probably Chiesa. Chiesa, yeah, because he he, 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 he can he can move, man. He can move. But I think apart from that, because we know. One thing we know about Italian football, Spanish football, they got no pace. If we know one thing about Italian football, one thing about it, um, Spanish, they got no, no pace. pace. Man. Never. Never have pace. Yeah. You, you name me if the fastest Ita- Spanish striker, Torres, <laughs> David mm. Villa, and they weren't exactly mm. lightning. No, no, no. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, Moise Keane, look, will the Italians build a team with a black man at the front, at the helm? I don't know. I don't think they will, if I'm being yeah. honest. I don't think they will. because I, I, I don't they did, think they will. They did it with... Man, um, and they used excuses for ballots. Oh, Mario's this and Mario's... All, always excuses. Mm. Always excuses, mm. but you're forgetting the talent. Mm. This is the same Mario Bertelli who won Serie A with Jose Marino mm-hmm. as a 19-year-old. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And Marino, who doesn't big up players, says this kid has got the most talent yeah. he's seen in a long yeah. time, but mm. his head's mm. wrong. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. Marino mm. said. Yeah. His head's wrong, but talent-wise, it's there, so... The Italians had it, so why didn't they nurture that? Why didn't they pick Balotelli for? I, I, I think if I mean, depending on because I can't speak for how bad um, Balotelli was in terms of outside of the football pitch, mm-hmm. but maybe it's a case of they look to him and and we we, we know there's a certain mentality the Italian national team like to have um, in, in on the whole, and they just didn't see that in Balotelli, and maybe they they felt that you know. The, the kind of attitude he had at the time would have been disruptive to the team in general um, because yeah, who again knows? He, the manager and it's yeah, down to the manager I yeah and know, again but then know. again I, there, there definitely can be that whole racial thing to it. I mean because even though we're talking about Moise Keane before the game he played there recently he hadn't been on the bench even on the bench for the game, four games before yeah no that. exactly yeah so, it was even an so option he, he does, yeah so he was yeah, they've so they only speak brought, brought him back since he went on loan yeah, to Juventus it, Juventus yeah since he gone back yeah yeah oh yeah we can use oh we can throw Juventus bought him Oh, he's on, he's on loan. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. He's yeah, cool. on loan with an option to yeah, buy. Yeah, they'll take up the option. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? I think... Well, it, it's, 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 he came it, through there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's yeah. one Yeah, yeah. So if he, if, he, if, he, if, he, if he does a job, he'll definitely do the job there, man. 100, mm. man, still, yeah. But no, no, no. That's good, guys. Now, I want to I wanna um, um, touch base about the um, England's um, World Cup journey with the... Um, with, with Dad and we get to this uh, South the, the Americas, you know what I mean, and whatsoever. So now, so... Uh, I'm there as an innocent young man, just watching my um, young man, big man, um, watching um, um, the game and obviously hearing about, um, oi, they gave racial abuse towards, um, you know, um, Bailey on the side and, um, and you know, the fans were giving it as they're giving it, yeah? And the amount of things I heard later that day, I was listening to Talk Sport. They need to ban Hungary, they need to do this to Hungary, they need to be kicked out of the competition and whatever their story. Yeah. I sat down and I'm thinking, what a bunch of hypocrites. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Straight up hypocrites. Do you think in England right now, black players are having it easy on the side? Do you think, have you seen the abuse? You know what I'm saying? Do you see the abuse that's going online? Did they just miss what happened after, after, the, after the three penalties have been missed? What is going on? People, can you explain to me? You need to be banned before we even process the paperwork mm-hmm. for Hungary. Before we get to Hungary's paperwork, let's process. Hungary got done over because of their madness in, in the Euros. Mm-hmm. England has got away with it. Maybe because it wasn't on the football pitch. I don't know. Yeah. But the reality show is they were out of order abusive and sorry, putting up flowers and, and refixing Rashford's m- memorial or whatever, mural or whatever you call it. Anyway, painting on the wall does not cover the sin. It happened, you know what I'm saying? And there's no implication, there's no uh, there's no punishment for England, the way they behaved, 
towards the black players and black players in general continually in the UK. They're continually doing it and pretending like it doesn't happen. Bro, I fully hear where you're coming from. And you know me, I'm very, very vocal when it comes to racism and that. I'd be on a football pitch in the place of work. I don't, I don't condone it. I don't, I'm not into it. And mm, um, mm. I hear where you're coming from, but I'm gonna read. <laughs> I'm gonna read something from my Instagram because it was about the England game, and an England fan named Cobb mentioned you in a comment, and it said, "We didn't throw cups and flares at them and make monkey noises." Anyone can post anything on social media from anywhere in the world to go to a game and abuse players in that way. It's totally a different thing. He says, Tottenham fans, I take it as a Tottenham fan, loudly cheered Saka at our stadium, despite him being a rival. Let's not pretend the situations are comparable and you're kidding yourself. What did you say after that? This is what I'm talking about. So hold on, hear they're, what the man says, you know. You know. Hear what the defining. man says. We didn't make monkey noises. So, because you didn't make monkey noises... It's cool. Um, you didn't throw flares and you didn't throw cups at them. You think you, English people, English fans are better than the Hungary fans. Let me tell you as a black man, you're a joke. And if, that, if you think that's the truth, mate, you need to go and look at yourself. Every England fan, go and look in your mirror. What, because you didn't throw a cup at me, but you call me... A black this and a black that. I know. Oh, it's because cool. you didn't throw a flare at me or call me a mm. monkey, but you, your fans, when my fellow black players missed the penalties, you took it to the streets and you was attacking innocent black people on the road. Yeah, man. Yeah. So real. how do you sit down and write those th that that dross to justify to go on like you're better than the Hungarian fans? You're no different to the Hungarian fans. The only difference is they're from Hungary and you're from England. Mm -hmm. I can't probably understand them in a conversation where I can understand you. <laughs> That's the only difference, mate. You don't understand? 100. So I don't, I don't understand how English fans can point fingers. Don't point fingers when you're leaving glass houses. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't do that, England fans. How dare you criticise Hungarian football? But how you dare you? I, I don't remember a Hungarian captain racially abusing... A, f a black player. I remember England's captain doing it, so don't point fingers and talk to me about <laughs> we're not as bad as them. <laughs> you're a lot worse, mate. You're a lot worse, mate, because you're captain. You're captain. We don't call his name because we don't call his name, but you know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Played for one of the most racialist clubs in, in English football, and I'm not going to take back my talk. And just because you signed Romelu Lukaku don't mean oh, we're not racist. <laughs> You know, because when I when I remember Chelsea fans saying, "Oh, today we got a point at Sheffield Wednesday," but I'm not celebrating a point. For my in my eyes, we lost because Paul Canneville scored the equaliser for Chelsea, and the Chelsea fans wouldn't acknowledge him because of the colour of his skin. English fans, mate, same Chelsea fans who racially abused Raheem Sterling whilst playing for Man City, but you people are going to say Hungarian fans are worse than you, really? Really? Come on now. Wasn't it the Tottenham fans that threw a banana on the pitch with the, um, the derby? A couple yeah, against the Emirates. So, come. <laughs> thank you, Roger, for being Cub. Cub, you, you spoke to me on my personal Instagram, so I hope, I hope you might watch, but I'm going to hit you up later. I'm going to remind you that, that your Tottenham fans, who you were talking who who cla clapped and praised Saka, you threw bananas at Aubameyang, so again... Uh, two seasons ago. Again, two seasons ago, you yeah. know, it don't make... It, oh, because you've clapped Saka this year, it don't make you racist. No, I don't... I, I still remember when you're throwing bananas, bro. Yeah, man. So don't... Let's not get it twisted. And this is what we're saying. England, English fans, stop this... Stop this judgmental mm. mentality that English mm -hmm. fans, English media, mm -hmm. and, all, and the rest have. You're, you're, you're on the same... For me, as a black man, you're on the same par as the Hungarians. Mm. You're on the same par as the Bulgarians and, in, 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 and the in, Spanish. In a way, it's even worse because let's not get it twisted. Talk it, my brother. In, in, in England playing hung, hung, Hungary, yeah, right, is is a game that you'll see once every blue moon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that so you can almost say, okay, we played Hungary and on this occasion they did that. But week in, week out in the Premiership, yeah. it's, there's racism. Ray, week, week in, week, week out. out. Week, out, yeah. week, in, week yeah. out. 
Do you know what I'm saying? Black players are taking the knee and they're still going to stadiums and they're booing. Yep. Yeah, and man. That's in and, England. That's and in they England. know the reason yeah, why. Yeah, exactly. They know the reason why the players Bro, are taking the knee. Break down, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah and they're still booing them. Mm. So how do you how do you get off? How do you get off sitting in your high throne pointing at hungry fans? How do you get off doing that? Jeez, man. How do you I, get would, off? I would have loved to see if he would, he would have put up the same message had England lost the game. Very true. And like they, they and and the, those black players had missed opportunities. Yeah, very true. Wow. I would have liked to see if he would have still put that same message up there, or maybe he would have been joining the hungry fans online to put a completely different message across. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. No, no, hundred percent. You know, yeah. I mean, it's it, it, the, 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 it's it's like when they're winning, you know, I mean, they always talk the big talk. So, so England fans, you know, I, I think I think they've got definitely got it from ourselves, you know, in terms of like, you know, do not. And I, and, I, and I don't feel sorry for Southgate, yeah, because there's a lot of reversals. Because I'm hearing Boris Johnson kick off. I'm hearing all these jokers that are just kicking off. And I'm thinking, can you sort out the your garbage? It yeah, yeah, words in the first yeah, place. yeah, exactly. You know, so it's just like, guys, you just, it's making me feel sick. And you know what? I'm sick and tired of England, guys, yeah? They never go to, the, to, to, to black people and say, how do you, how, how do you, how do you feel? feel about how, it? How, how, is, is that offensive? And, and you know what he says? They're telling us. Yeah, how we meant to feel, you know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm not having it. I'm not having it at all. You know what I'm saying? So it, you know, stop. It. And then you know what makes it worse, guys? Yeah, is our black footballers and talk sport, talking softy softy talk. Yeah, like they're not referring it back. I said, oh, remember this? A couple of them says, okay, listen, but we got our stuff to sort out. But we're not getting guys who are, are verbally reals, the big guys to say, listen, back off them. We have to sort our stuff out before we can even talk about them. Because if we're going to say to them to be banned, we should be banned or kicked out of the, world Cup, the next World Cup mm. already. Nobody's brave enough to because, say that. Because if you see, the thing is, we, 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 we've said this statement on here before that you don't hear online or anywhere about um, black flat black fans basically abusing, abusing white players what, white who football miss football penalties or you know who, who, yeah. who cost you, their you club anything. You, you yeah, we don't do that. And, and that's and, what we're saying, You know, bro. I, I would love... I would, I would, I would, not so much I would love to see, but I could tell you what the result would be if England, for example, was to go over to Jamaica and play a, a friendly against Jamaica and the Jamaican supporters decided they're going to treat the white players the same way the white fans treat the black players here. Yeah. They, they, they'd they'd be, be a problem for people to take action. It'd be a problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It'd be a problem. And that's the, and that's the hypocrisy of the English. That is the hypocrisy of the English. Because the English will sit down and say, why is Roger, Marcus and Anthony still talking about racism? Why? What's the problem? I'm not racist. You know, duh, 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 but <laughs> you're not racist. You're one out of what? But, you know, let's be real. Let's be honest, like you said. And let me, let me just make this point as well. Even if you, for example, turn around and you say, you know, I've never said or done anything racist in my life and stuff like that. Even if you sit in the presence of someone that's being racist and you don't correct them and you just stay there listening mm, to them, mm. take a part in the conversation, nodding your head, you know, mm. right? You're just as bad. Mm. You're just as bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, it's it, not just about what you do. It's also what, about what you're allowed to take place. Yeah. I, I, you know, 100 guys, man. And I think that, you know, we, 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 I just feel sorry for media now because we're going to capture every single moment. We're, we're not going to we're not going to let it off them that easy. No, not, man. At all. You're not, not at all. And I'm sure we can get... Um, I'm sure I'm gonna reach out to PC Ward very soon as well. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, oh god, don't even say that, man. You're really sorry. Um, and, and, sorry. Auntie, sorry. Auntie, Auntie's just um, looking at some um, trying to be Black Lives Matter um, posts online um, that he's trying to show out there. So yeah, I don't, <laughs> you know. Um, but um, also, guys, you know, we know that there's that case that's going through at the moment with P I know PC Ward's involved, with it, I believe. Um, with the guy who racially abused Romain Sawyers. They mentioned it the day after the hungry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somehow mm -hmm. it hits the news. I don't know if you guys heard much about it at all. Did you hear anything about it? Yeah, yeah, I heard I heard a little bit about it. I was disappointed to hear about um the suspended thing. I was it eighteen months or something like that? What, what, what was that? Sorry. Um the it? the um the, the, the case with Romain Sawyers this week. Did you see the oh, noise okay. about it? Did you see the news about it? No, 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 no. Yeah, so the, literally the day, just because, you know, we all know it's about optics, yeah? The day after England um, got the abuse, fake racial abuse, the next day, they started mentioning the news about, oh, we're dealing with this white guy here because he racially abused Romain Sawyers. But um, I wasn't too sure what his sentence was, bro, but he, he got 18 months. 
No, he, he, I can't remember how long he got, but they suspended the, the, the sentence of him for 18 months. So I just, this is the stuff I don't get. If you know the guy is guilty, why are you suspending the, the sentence for 18 months? I don't understand that. They're too scared to press the bottom, man. You know what I mean? I, I, you know, because the reality show is the only crime that's allowed you can get away with is crime against black people. That's what they're saying. You know what I mean? If black yeah. people do something, we get sent down for for 5,000 years, yeah? But yet, when white people are racially abused, it's called, oh, they can get over it, you know, problem. Um, it just does my head in, man. Absolutely does my head in at all. You know what I mean? Uh, whatsoever. But we'll, we'll hopefully, we'll, we'll get PC... Our PC guy on that Stu Ward. I want to get him out on that one because I, I think that's really, really, really important. Now, um, I want to just touch base with with the Carib the Car sorry the Caribbean Americas football and Jamaica's tripping up a bit still on the way over Lost there. To Panama. Yeah, 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 and and they drew Costa Rica. But to be honest, I think you know, I think they're just every time they're just rushing get all these English players in, but they don't realize they have to build things up. You know, what I mean, a bit more. You know, so. Oh, we, we we want more from Jamaica anyway, still yeah. But how are you guys feeling about you know the um, the South American situation? Did you hear about what happened with Argentina? Brazil, Argentina. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Funny, I, was, um, I think it's I was, a bit I was it Also, in comparing it with the situation, because Jurgen Klopp came forward because right now the Brazil um, um, Football Association are basically wanting FIFA to to stop the Premier League club from playing their um, Brazilian players. Um, I think the, this week, reason, this weekend, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it, correct. Because, and I, I just don't get that. So because the, I get it, because the, the club, the thing is, the clubs, the, the players are signed to the clubs. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, so the, their, their first contract is with the club. So you know, wherever, it, you know, I tell you, okay, this is your signing, and you're signed because you have to play these games for us, or whatever it is. Obviously, it should be for the club to make that decision about a thing. Because even even when the, the players go off to internationals. As far as I'm aware, the clubs still have the power to say that the player can't go and and play those games and even dictate how much time within those games they can play. So if they want to play them for, like, uh, only allowed to play for a half or a certain time, I think the clubs still have the power to do that. So I don't see why the Brazil um, Association are trying to get FIFA to to cause this kind of mess. But I feel, I feel like you've got a bit of a uh, Liverpool bias there, bro. Because not bias in terms of like, no, so it's, it's not, it's not but, 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 but the thing is, you got, you got, you got, a, you got a board. Um, everybody, all the clubs are underneath FIFA. That's the reality of the show, is yeah. And mm. FIFA says you under our system. The reality of the show is you got to release your players for that. You got to remember as well. The only way to get your players out of the, out of playing for England or so on. What do they do? They're always secretly injured. They always got this injury. They always have to say injury. They can't say I'm having a rest this time. They have to say I've got an injury. That was the only way out. Of it. and the only way you have is what you remember gentleman's agreement with Sven Gore Eriksson to have a half mm -hmm. having the next man comes on half so it's pure they, they have to be there bro unless they retire yeah and I know there was a team I can't remember the player that tried to force him back out of retirement you know what I mean I can't remember who it was a while back now still yeah but um I sure he's a French player I don't know if it was Makaleli McAlee wanted to retire and the French needed him. I can't remember who, who, who the player was. But the reality show is that um, the problem is he got the movement with COVID. The problem with the South America, they shouldn't have really played Cup of America or they should have made Cup of America the, pro the, um, the promotions for... Not promotions, the qualifiers. You know, when, when the African mm. tournaments. But it didn't. So now they have to do the qualifiers. They had to just fill in more games. And because of COVID, they... Pff, the, you know they've they, they struggled you know what i'm saying they absolutely struggled you know what i mean saying um to, to you know because of the exam you know like is it five days or something or 10 days from mm. brazil you know and uh it's just it's just total hot mess i think you know that and, and then because they kept the players back and not all the teams did that because don't forget neymar messi was over there for psg and all these guys you know mm. so the european clubs were free the players so they just said you know what you know, EPL. So the reality show is they're under the ball, bro, and I, and I have to play. You know, it's Messi. Um, yeah, you know, Lino Messi. But anyway, but see, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying. To, I'm trying to get to the the, the, the actual um, the legal side of it. I'm because I'm you pretty can be banned. sure yeah, that no, no, there, there's they something. Can, yeah, yeah. Been, that's been that's been for a while. Because I remember, like, you know, you can't if you like withdraw a player from the um, from an international. You got like a game, couple of days, and he plays. Causes a problem. Yeah, it causes a problem. Yeah, and you can't, you can't get, you can't get sanctions. Yeah, you can get, get, get trouble. Yeah. So I think 
I don't know. Again, I don't really See, know. It, much it, of the it's story. it's I, weird I, because, I haven't been paying attention. like I said, I, I do believe there's some. There is some kind of. Um, I'm not sure how um, legal or whatever it is, but there is something in in the whole club international thing where the clubs can actually dictate how long players can play in a match. So if you're going to allow the, the clubs to be the ones to dictate that, then surely they should also be a one to dictate whether the players should be gone or not. Because if, if you see, I've only got, you know, I've got, let's say, for example, I'll use Liverpool as an example. Mm. If you see, for example, Liverpool going through a period where all the defenders are out injured mm. and then I have one defender left that I can hold out to do the job, I don't want him going to play for an international before, before a big game. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no, no. So, I hear. No, no, so you're, you're, you're totally right. But, but I think that was a proposal that got rejected, bro, because FIFA ain't going to let that through, man. They want to bring in more World Cups, bro. <laughs> so I can't see them. <laughs> I can't even see them having any mercy with that one anyway. So yeah. But it's a bit of a farce. And then they stopped the game because of the whole Kovi thing broke down by the Tottenham players, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Tottenham players, good. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, boy, they, they messed that up anyway. You know, but either way, Brazil and Argentina is doing what they usually do. 3-0 to, um, I think Messi over, uh, surpassed um, B- uh, Pelé's uh, international record now for South American team. He scored a hat-trick against Bolivia. You know what I mean? I think mm. Messi now feels Argentina now. Now he's won the... Um, yeah, now he's yeah, won the he, Cup of yeah, America. He, he, he thinks like, yeah, I'm, he, I'm a man now. I'm, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a he's, he's reached now. Not you know for me. I mean? Not for me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, Diego won the World Cup, bro. <laughs> Diego won the World Cup in a very inferior team. He didn't have the Carlos Tevez's and the Demirias and Conagueros and the Iguayins and all those big ballers Argentina have had in one squad over the years. Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, Argentina, yeah. Argentina. When Argentina look back at themselves, like Marcus said, when them Argentinian players look back and think, Carlos Tevez, look, I didn't win the World Cup. Conaguero, I didn't win the World Cup. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. Iguain, look at the qu- listen to the Iguain, names we're talking. You know, you know. know what I'm saying proper ballers, man. Proper big bo- Batistu, bro. Batistu, holy that. big ballers from who's Argentina. Who's that guy? That, who's that guy behind Batistu? They used to play for VRL. He used to be withdrawn like a behind him and he was highly rated. Uh, wasn't Raquel Crespo? Me. Raquel me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big mm. boys, you know? For one and Raquel me in the full, bro. One, one, yeah, 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 yeah. One Sebo. You know, big players, bro. And when you look at those, Argentina have really not fulfilled that potential. Yeah, they're, talk, they're talking about all these countries with golden generations. Blood. Yeah, man. They, 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 Argentina they, had a golden 50 years. Bro. Yo. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, Where they yeah. had some big top ballers coming through. Mm-hmm. And if you look at yeah. it, the ballers that came through now, compared to when Maradona was doing his thing, mm. that's when you re- that's what that's why you have to respect what Maradona did. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. he didn't have all those big ballers in a squad he, with him. He didn't have that. He dragged that yeah. team, you He know. dragged that midi, an yeah. average, a bang average Argentinian team <laughs> to a World Cup. And if the same take, bang I, average team, he brought them back to the final four yeah, years yeah, later. Four years later, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and, and when you talk about Messi, Messi's playing in teams with Aguero, Iguayin, Tevez, Raquel Mis, all those have been in one squad for him. Bro, them are big ballers, bro. And, if, and, and when you look at, we're talking about defence, the, the, the Islanders, the Walter Samuels, mm. they had big defence. They had mm. Argentina yeah. had it, man. They were supposed to win, win tournaments. And yeah. when you had men like like Bavon there and Pablo Aymar and all these, listen, Pablo Aymar, you had um, Fernando Gago. And, bro, mm-hmm. I could mm-hmm. go through if you really stopped and studied the Argentina, bro. Some of the players yeah. Argentina have had have gone through and, and didn't didn't do nothing in World Cup mm-hmm. finals. It's shocking. But they, but they had, they had that age old thing of a dodgy goalkeeper. That's the one thing they haven't got now with Martinez in goals. What, they had yeah. a dodgy and, keeper uh, with Maradona? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying too. That's why I rate Maradona. But you know what they did in the last tournament? And they did highlight this now. Now, Martinez, yeah, I don't know where he's been for the past decade, yeah. Sitting, he, sitting, sitting, on Arsenal, Arsenal. sitting on Arsenal's <laughs> blinking bench, mate. That's where he's been sitting. Um, this guy, even the commentators were saying, having a secure goalkeeper in Copa de America makes a big difference. He, and they see the mm-hmm. difference of when you got a goalkeeper, you know, bro, you know, when you play Saturday, like, like well, I make sure. I always say to my players, as long as I see my goalkeeper come out of his car, I can have eight players on the pitch. I got something. But mm-hmm. when you see no goalkeeper, bro, you're like this. Oh my bro, gosh, let yo, let he's going to go. Something, little story about, but um, Emmy Martinez. Go. On. When he came to Arsenal, Wenger saw the potential. That's why Wenger wouldn't let him leave. 
Okay, cool. That's why he kept him for the 10 years because he says one day this guy's going to be the Arsenal number one. Okay. Has to be, he, he saw the talent. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. saw the talent. But again, see, I'm going to blaspheme now and all sorts and, you know, I can't do this. Right. <laughs> Mikel Artapas <laughs> decides to sell him and keep the Dud German. It, that is a Dud German, though. The Dud German? <laughs> he is Dud. How many German goalkeepers we've used him with weak wrists? I've never seen him. Set mine used to have some big. Remember them clubs used to wear? Bro. Set mm. Meyer, Oliver Kahn. Kahn great yeah. goalkeepers. Yeah, man. So where did Bern Leno mm-hmm. come from? Jens Lehmann, yeah. fam. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let forget Matt Jens, bro. Great goalkeeper. Yeah, man, he's decent, man. He's decent. Great goalkeeper, Bridging. Mm. So, and then our, and this is why this idiot has to come out my club. Because he's seen Leno and he's Martinez and Martin, he's let Martinez go. Uh, yeah, yeah. A bit, a bit of a, a bit of definitely a mad one there. We've really come to that. But now, nah, internationally, it should be interesting. Send them to the World Cup, man. So we've got a World Cup coming up. I, we, 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 I, I don't want to... I know we, I know. Skipper mentioned about Martial playing up front um, for France. But, you know, France is France, man. It what, just, what, it, what was all that about, though? It was saying, yeah, Martial... How, how did he get picked? I mean, uh, I'm a bit... I'm a bit sceptical because... I, I don't get it. I, 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 you know what? I just don't rate Deschamps. I think Deschamps is... A I think Deschamps should have gone after, yeah, the, after the Euros. Bro, well, bro he's, he's, he makes... I'm, I, I'm with he you, makes, bro. He, he makes um, Arteta look normal, bro, because the, the talent that he's got, bro, in a, bro, 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 it's ridiculous. Yeah. Man's got Kavavinga, bro, like, like so, not even in the... He's not even in the breath of things, bro. You know what I'm saying? He got big ballers like that, man. That everyone's Ooh. going crazy over. That in Portugal and other clubs would have to have him on the bench. You know what I mean? But like, well, you, know, you, know, you know, let me throw this one out there, guys. Do you think that France been trouble? And yeah. the reason I say that is because when you look at the Euros, we know they haven't done that. Um, and I'm just looking at the the last result. They're struggling, bro. Okay, okay they, they, be beat, they beat Finland two 0 yeah, but before, before that, that year, it's just draws right, you know, after draws, yeah. yeah. And, Ukraine, and they're falling they do, behind. They do one one. Yeah. yeah. They do one one of Ukraine. Yeah. Um, they, but they qualified they though. But they're, 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 they're way ahead of everybody else in the qualifiers. So I think they're switched off, man. It doesn't but this matter, is the bro. thing. The, the, doesn't matter. Bro, the, 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 these small teams, they, they drew Bosnia and, and Zagreb. But what we know that about? Twice they drew. But they say, you see, Marcus has hit a very good point because let's. It goes back to the Euros. Remember, you know, the world champions were three one up against an all right Swiss team. Mm. And we all know what happened. But the thing is, you know, you, let's let's go, let's go to Brazil. Every time Brazil, and don't forget, even ski. even Kazakhstan, they, they they kind of struggled against. They beat them two 0 year, but one of the goals was their own goal. But you the thing, saying, but, but, but guys, we so, have to look at trauma, man. Let's let's let's, go, let's look at history. Yeah, whenever Brazil should have won the World Cup and they mess up, yeah, yeah, they do take about <laughs> two three years to recover, especially and they, and they kind of play rubbish. You know, they, they implode. The whole system implodes. So you have to look at Brazil when they lost the World Cup. X, oh, how many times have the Brazil lost the World Cup? And then you know that like, they literally take four years just to recover. And they have even more pressure on the next four years tournament because they keep messing up the World Cup scenario. They have pressure on them. And, yeah, they, and, and, Brazil, and, 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 Brazil. and then they have stupid results afterwards because they're struggling. France is struggling because they know they, they're, they're, they're messed up, man. Yeah, I think, I think where you go in Brazil. They sharp Brazil, Brazil, Brazil's Brazil sacks the managers. Brazil's a different, different gravy. The, the pressure on Brazil is, <laughs> is on another level. It's on another level. That's why I feel, that's why Neymar, I don't feel, will ever fulfill what he's supposed to. Because the, the amount of pressures on that you've said to, to carry this Brazil, mm. the new Brazil, mm, mm. forward. Mm, mm. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think the problem with Brazil, mm. Brazil have lost their identification. They're trying to play a more European, European football, five football. yeah. And yeah. that's where they're going wrong. Mm. The Brazils of old used to just win World Cup playing Brazilian football. Mm. Brazil would win the game. As long as they won the game, 3-2, they'll win the World Cup. 3-2, 3-2, 3-2, 3-2, 4-3, 5-4, 7-6. That's how Brazil Brazil would outscore you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Simple yeah, yeah, as. Yeah, 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 because yeah, yeah. We, Brazil never really had no great defenders. Yeah. They've always had midfielders and strikers. They've never really had great defenders. They never had great goalkeepers either. No. You get my saying? Until, until Tafarel. Until, yeah, exactly. So now, I mean, you get the, you get the, um, what was that geezer from um, Bayer Leverkusen? Brazil. Won the World Cup in, 90, in 2002. Um, oh, no, 2002. For, with, with, with Ronaldo and Rivaldo. Played for Leverkusen, man. Oh, what's his it's name? It's Albert. No. He, he, he's no, Bayern Munich, man. He's Bayern Munich, innit? Albert. Are you had about Giovanni. Giovanni, yeah. He's not a defender, bro. I said defender. Oh, defender. Bro. Sorry, defender. Sorry, I thought you were talking about. Um, you're talking about um Lucio. Yeah, Lucio. Lucio, yeah, 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 yeah. Lucio. Yeah. I think him that he started coming. He came through. Mm. I don't think I can't. Correct me if I'm wrong, lads. If you think of you can remember any 
decent Brazilian centre half before Lucio. I, I think Lucio and then and then Thiago oh. Silva's come. Yeah. David Luiz. They've come after. Okay, okay. Lucio. Really had, yeah, 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 yeah. Lucio was the first, I think, big defender for me that I can remember from Brazilian football that you'd say, oh, good defender still. Big. Big, and he can play a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know what you're saying. I know you're saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, what I about remember, Alex? Mm, could take a free kick. <laughs> <laughs> could take a free kick. But he's still had some dodgy defenders. Because as far as I can say, Branco, man, he couldn't defend to save his life. But he could take a free kick. He could take a free kick, bro. And that's what I'm saying. That's the thing with Brazil. Yeah. Brazil have people like Branco in yeah. defence, but they, you know, they get away with it because they concede two, but they score four. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can get, you can get and that. That's Brazil. what I'm saying. But where is France now? France, the champs now. Champs needs to Sack. go, bro. Yeah. He needs to go because at the end of the day, bro, he's picking, he's doing that old, the old thing that England managers do. He's picking his mates. He's yeah. not picking people on form. Yeah. He's picking his mates. Because it's, how can you, if you're saying you're picking on form, Martial mm. shouldn't have been anywhere near the French squad. He shouldn't right. have been anywhere mm. near it. It'd be funny if France go and be in Tigana as manager. That would never happen, though. <laughs> <laughs> that couldn't happen in I England. Think of, I think of Makaleli before a Tigana, but Tigana has gone too far, too old. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, you'd yeah, have yeah. to bring in someone like a Makaleli um, for, for the East generation. But, bro, the man's out there. He's the greatest French player to walk the earth. And yeah, I've said it's better than Michel Platini in my eyes. Zizou. Okay. Zizou. Okay, is it that? Zizou. Michel Platini senior is good, you know, bro. Platini. No, Platini was a done, bro. <laughs> don't, get me, don't get it twisted. He was a done, fam. Yeah, man. But, you know what? Zizou done it in a different era, bro. There was so a you, lot more, a lot more greater players. Top three French players and top three of all time. Would you put Henri below Zizou? Henri's in there. Oh, yeah. don't get it twisted, bro. <laughs> don't get it twisted. So you, Henri so is you would in say there. number one is Zidane. Yeah. Number two, Henri. Yeah. Number three, Platini. Probably yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now that I start to think about it, yeah. I'm trying to think if I'm, I've missed any other dons because I remember Chesagay. No, no. <laughs> could finish, but I didn't really rate him as a player. Um, whereas Armory can do it all, and that's what I'm saying. Zidane could do it all because for a big man of such a height, that probably could pick the pirouettes he used to do with football was shocking. Man with such the height and yeah, the, the touch, the how he could caress a ball, shocking, Proper. bro. Proper, he was, like, was on a different gravy. But Plat- what, what, when, when, you, when you're looking at the best ever French players, are we talking about skill and stuff like that? What are we looking at though? Because if you start, if you include the whole team, then there's big man like Desai and Taram out there as well. Yeah, but I think Desai and Taram, you wouldn't put a Desai before a Zidane through no, for nothing. Because <laughs> if we're talking about defenders, we're not, but we don't, we, you see, that's what I'm saying. We don't, when we look at things like that. Best ever. We, we don't, we don't, we, we're always yeah. looking at the, the, the attacking minders. Yeah, yeah, we don't talk about, yeah, yeah, the defence yeah, yeah, is a yeah, different yeah. thing. If we're talking specific about defenders, we can say, your Desai's, your Tarams, mm. th- that element, we can go there. But skill-wise, I didn't, I, I thought Desai was quite clumsy, to be quite honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for me, like... He was like the Dasa, first generation Dasa black guys Dasa coming in, coming Dasa in like, power. only got fame for me because he came into Milan to replace Rijkaard. And that's how he became famous for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me. And he scored a goal against uh, Barca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A good that goal that was, you know, that curler. That role, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. he wasn't really as a defensive midfield. I didn't think he was that great. Okay. He was a better mm. centre half. Mm. Mm. Do you think Vieira is better than Dissetti? What? What's the centre DM? Yeah. Bro, it's not even a question. No, yeah. It's Patrick, bro. Patrick, <laughs> Captain, oh, bro it's Captain mm. Invincible. Come yeah. on, fam. Have manners. Okay, okay. Captain okay. Invincible, bro. Come mm. on. You know this. Everybody <laughs> knows. When it came to Vieira, Vieira was the new prototype of a central midfield player. Mm. Everybody knows that, bro. Mm. Ferg, Fergie would have sold his wife to get Vieira to Old Trafford. <laughs> Let's be real. Because the dream Fergie had was Keane and Vieira together. <laughs> That was his dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. his dream, bro. All right, all right. You know what right, I mean? Right. And that, as we know, that's why he went out and tried to find a Vieira and he bought Jemba Jemba. <laughs> let's, not, let's, not, let's not make it personal now. And uh, Cleberson. Let's not make it personal now. But listen, guys, we, we've got to, we're, we're going to quickly, we're, the show's going quite quickly, man. Uh, we, need to get, we need to get into what's going to be happening when we come back now. We, all the transfers are settled down. We've had that conversation, Anthony, last you mean, week. You about the weekend, the, the weekend we, results. We, the weekend the weekend. Coming results, up. transfers, and the, and the weekend results, and the people listen to this show after. Actually, I'm gonna try and put this up beforehand, but they'll probably listen to this after. So we're gonna almost talk about the vibe going forward. Now, obviously, all the talk yeah. is about 
All the talk is about. All the talk is about. You know, is it? We won't distract. Well, I, 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 need, I need to jump in before you, you move to Ronaldo, man. <laughs> this French thing, I was trying to think of a, a few more French players. Okay, okay, so okay. You, you, guys, you guys wouldn't give any love to men like um, Papan or Jokaev? Yes, I give love to Papan and Joker, but they're not better than Zizou, and they're not better than Platini, and they're not better than Amri. Sorry, no. Joker. I could name players, as you say, it's a good, they're good players, but if I remember them players, Joker, if I remember Alan Jerez, I'm going, you see, I can name you players. Jerez, you know, man. I can give you players. Man's going back to your, like, your, 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 these little new new school fans who only know to oh, Zidane. Yeah, Zidane, yeah, yeah. You understand? Zizu, like, Zizu, like, Zizu, like, yeah. like you have, I have some Arsenal banter and like, I, I know people who only know from the Wenger era. Mm. That was born for the Wenger era. So all what's going mm. on now, this is like, oh my God, what's going on? I've never seen Arsenal in this position. But I've, I've seen Arsenal when Tottenham were the biggest team in London. I remember mm. those days. <laughs> When Tottenham, I know it's, it's surprising, I know, <laughs> but Tottenham were finishing above Arsenal on a regular basis. I remember those days, fam. So, you know, as I say, when I say them things, Papan, great striker. Great striker, bro. Yeah, great striker. You know, played for Marseille, went to AC Milan. Didn't really didn't really cut it again at Milan. Yeah, he did score a goal. He scored a goal. A, he scored a, a, goal, goal, goal. a goal in the fog. He scored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He scored a few, <laughs> but I think when uh, that Milan team at the time, he was just packed with yeah. bodies, bro. He was just packed with people, man. Everybody <laughs> joking. Man. He, he was just one of those. I think I think George Ware was there at the time yeah, when man, yeah, was man. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he, he you know, team. you can't get any near with the team with George Ware around. Mm. Let's be real. So, but France have had some great players, bro. Dominic Rush too, DDA6. You know what I mean? I can name players, mm. bro. You know, what so... <laughs> Remember Angama? I remember Givash. <laughs> Givash, <laughs> the lucky striker. He's like the. He was like, like the. Yeah. He's, 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 he's a part. Yeah. 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 He's got a medal, you know what I mean? Um, so but yeah, damn. but yeah, Marcus, you, you, you know, as I said, great players you've mentioned, big respect. But for me, world class though. Do you have to talk world class though? Me, yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, will yeah. be Zizou, Henry, Armory, and Platini. And Platini is my top yeah. three. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, listeners, yeah. if you're watching out there and you, you, you feel you can give us another three or be, you can better that. Let us hear from you, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Them, them the top three, man. But listen, let's get let's get to the um, the football thing well, before we went. Well, we're running out of time. Well, but let's, Ma- let's, Marcus, let's, Marcus mentioned it, so we'll go there. Yeah, Marcus, yeah, yeah. Marcus. The reason I brought this in, I was saying to Roger, I live in Birmingham, yeah? And this is in the, this come in the metro, Birmingham. Mm. The, the center peaches, with Christian Ronaldo, <laughs> the second coming. What you about, know what I mean? What, what about, about, what about Blue signing Troy Deeney? Legend. You know, local. I thought local news was for local. The local teams. Yeah. This yeah. is this is mellow. This is. I thought mellow. Mellow must have put put this out. You know what I mean? Because, <laughs> you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, manners and respect to Cristiano. I will always give manners and respect to this player because mm. I respect football, and I don't care what team he plays for. Or unfortunately, where's dev? You know, team with devils in it. I don't, I'm not into. I'm, I'm a child of God. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a child of God. That's what I'm saying. You Man United mm-hmm. fans, you go to church and all this thing, yeah, and you, you Christians and that. Anything with the devil in brief, I don't praise. I don't praise. Just want it out there, yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> you know what I mean. I have to respect this player for what he's achieved and as a footballer, top baller. Came to England as a show pony. Left as a legend. He left as a legend. He left as the best player in the world. You can't knock the man for that. You know what I mean, and you know, great, great advert for the Premiership for me, anyway. So, do you? So, guys, I know Ronaldo. It would he if you're Greenwood now as a youth coming through? Is that advantage if you're Greenwood's dad? Are you going X and that be good for my son to be around a baller like that, or is he thinking, oh my gosh, he's gonna be on the bench for another year? Me personally, for, for the player you've mentioned, yeah, I think it will benefit him. Mm, a player mm. he won't benefit, Jesse Lingard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he's yeah. further down his career. Yeah, Whereas yeah, Greenwood yeah. is only 19, he's fresh. Yeah. Bro, you're watching Ronaldo train. That can only be 
a positive. Mm -hmm. I can only be a positive. That mentality to see this. Look at this geezer. Mm -hmm. This geezer's won everything in football. He's won Ballon d'Or. Yeah. He's stupid. Yeah. And he's still got that drive. He's still got that determination. Like he's mm -hmm. not achieved nothing. So Can you imagine a, if, as, if, as a 19 even, year old, if even a percentage of what um, Ronaldo brings in, in terms of his training, his mentality, and everything else, if he could rub even a percentage of that on Greenwood, that's you, what right? I'm saying. It can, it can only be beneficial. So that's what for the question Roger's saying. For me, it can only be a benefit for a uh, Mason Greenwood, but mm. for me, it's a detriment to uh, as I said, Jesse everybody Lee, else, Jesse yeah. Lingard, <laughs> <laughs> Cavani. Yeah, mate. You. Cavani has to look at, and say to himself now, nah, boy. Because yeah, if if, the, if Ronaldo comes on tomorrow, bam, scores a hat trick. Cavani's not. Cavani's Cavani's new name will be Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> but he won't got the seven mm. shirts as well. No, bro, yeah. Nah, well, what is what that, did I say to you? They broke the rules, you know. They broke the rules bro, for Ronaldo, man. They had to through manners and respect. You have to do mm. certain things. Yeah. You don't question. And, mm. and for me, the Premier League got it right. They didn't question it. It's Ronaldo, bro. It's super Ronnie. It's Ronnie. Yeah, man. Ballon d'Or five times winner. You got to show manners and respect. And if if Cavani had thrown a shot, I'm not showing him a shirt. Mm. I reckon seventy six thousand Man United fans would have turned on him. <laughs> mm -hmm, it, yeah. It, like 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 Martial with um, has he got Vex's Latin? Yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it, but you it, see, it, I, 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 for that one, I'm with Martial. I'm okay. with Martial, and, and I said that this is why I'm saying it. We're talking about Cristiano Ronaldo's coming back to Manchester United where he's, he's already come, he's already done and he already wore the number seven. Mm. Zlatan is just Zlatan, he's a journeyman, he comes from where, what, 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 what gives him the right to have the number nine over Martial, what? He ain't done nothing for Man United, he didn't win anything before he, before he came to Man United, no? Okay, so cool. Yeah, you yeah, shouldn't yeah, have yeah, gave him yeah, the top, yeah. mm. that was disrespect. That's cool. a blatant disrespect. And I, I see why Martial took it as a disrespect because it is a disrespect. Now, if Martial wore the seven and Ronaldo came, I don't think he'd have a problem. I really don't think he'd have a problem. But mm. he's thinking, hold on a minute. It's like if you was playing at Liverpool and Kenny Daglish mm. came back and he's wearing the seven. You're going to, you prove there's not even a question. Yeah. Not and even a question. Let's not even forget you that um, Ronaldo, Cavani, they're kind of the, the, the same kind of age range. Um, mm. So, people like Cavani, people like Martial as well, all these guys, regardless of where they were playing football at the time, would have grown through their football here in CR7. Seven, that's right. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, Real yeah. talk. So, so when, when he comes over here, right, the fact that he, he watched the seven, they, they understand it. Yeah, there was history there before they came, they would have exactly, heard. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Exactly. So, I, yeah. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you one thing, though. It could, be, it could have been a bit, a, bit, a bit of a diss, but he's only here for two years. Sancho, because I know Sancho in his mind, back of his head would have thought, I want to wear the seven, because seven's iconic at Man United. Yeah, yeah it is, it is. Mm. But, but to be honest, he, 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 you know, I, I think Cavani had to hold it down, and I think that, I think it's worked out good anyway still, yeah, because um, I think mm. Ronaldo, Ronaldo's going to bring something, I think, a mentality with Varane, of, 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 maybe Varane maybe still need to get to speed with things up in the Premiership but it's just a mentality thing guys and I think that what you know a winning, I think a, a winning mentality I think what, sometimes what I find with young ballers these days I just don't have that mentality sometimes and that hunger and that brilliant. desire it's a you, brilliant know, you, point. Know, you know what I'm it's saying a, it's a brilliant point mm. and I say that going back to my um, <clears throat> dismal club at the moment um, okay cool let's, let's touch we on got, we got no we got no winners in that changing room so we got nobody to look up to and you know, everybody, no, nobody's got that. That's what Arsenal lack. And, and even in, if you know, it's in the press, everybody's like, oh, Arsenal spent the most money, but the transfers have been very unimpressive for me. I'm not impressed by uh -huh. I'm not impressed. I mean, the, the probably the, the biggest transfer there for me would have been um, Odegaard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that, that's, that's wise. good business. That's, that's, that's good business. Yeah, yeah, that's good business. That was man. good business. Yeah, that, that's wisdom. You understand? But the biggest signing for me was um, Sambi, the, the Belgium youth, who we brought from Andelect on the recommendation of Vincent Company. Company, yeah, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he got his first call up for the Belgium squad. He played, yeah. made his debut the yeah. other day. Mm. Now, other than that, I'm not interested. First, as Rod, we've gone over this. Yeah, man. Show. Yeah, man. I'm not yeah, interested yeah. in no disrespect to Alan um, Ramsdale, Aaron Ramsdale as a goalie, 30 mil, but. I would have bought Kayla Navas or Areola from PSG for them kind of monies. Yeah. yeah you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. No disrespect to Ben White. I would have put the 10 million on top and bought Tapsola. Tapsola yeah. from um, Bayer Leverkusen. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> Bro, and see, this is what I'm saying. Arsenal, you need to give me a job. I know ball, you know. Yeah, man. I know uh -huh. football, you know, fam. 
I know football, bro. I know players. You know, so Mikel Tapas. You need, bro. I could do better than you. I could do better with the Arsenal squad. I'm, I'm being real, 100%. Well, uh, well, no gas. I really do believe okay, I could do a lot better yeah, than you. Arsenal, Arsenal got a problem here, yeah? Mm. Right, so Arsenal's going to be playing Norwich this weekend, yeah? And, six, and it was, it, it, six pointer. Yeah, six <laughs> point. And then the next week, it's another game um, against um, Burnley. Away. Six pointer. Uh, six pointer. And then you have, um, is it right that you got Tottenham after that game as well? Yeah, Arsenal versus Tottenham. You know what I'm saying? So what you don't want to be is in the position of you gotta get six. You gotta have six, gotta points, have six, six points, points on the table, table. to go and face get, Tottenham. I hear yeah, you. yeah, I'm saying because I hear that's going to be a problem. You know Bro, what I'm saying? Let's yeah, be real. But the thing is, right now, the, I and I don't say this just to become Liverpool sport or anything like that. But based on the current Arsenal form, I don't think there's a club in the Premiership Arsenal can go to and say to yourself we'll get three points. No. I was going to say that. There wow. There's not, bro. There's yeah. not. I've, I've, I've said that, bro. If you come on here today. It was on my Instagram, and it says, "What's the score? What do you predict the score tomorrow?" All the Arsenal mm. fans have put two nil. I've put Arsenal score tomorrow will be one two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's me being honest, bro. Yeah, you heard it first, guys. I don't expect one two. I don't. I don't want it to happen. But like he says, bro. Mm. Being in the position, and I'm real like that. I'm an honest fan. I won't mm. sit here and say, oh, yeah, it's not rich. No, fam. Mm. Bro, of Norwich, okay, even if we get the three points at Norwich, away to Burnley. That's, mm. that's, that's, a, tough, that's, that's a tough That's tricky. Yeah. You, that's tricky yeah. if you're top of the league. No matter yeah, where yeah. you are. You know, that's, that's, a, what I'm saying. that's one of the mm. ones where you're like this. You know what? That's, that, <laughs> that's a tough one, that is. The, 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 the biggest issue, like I think, like Anson, is that there's no winners in Arsenal. And I'll listen to the interview that Edu gave. Um, oh yeah, you saw that. On one, on one point, I on one point I agree with what you're saying in terms of like of, when you For look the at future, the, the transfers yeah, Arsenal yeah, have made, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they brought in a lot of um, young guys. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But when when we're not talking about uh, a Crystal Palace or a, a West Ham, we're talking about Big Arsenal, Arsenal, bro. Exactly, the, the Invincibles. Bro. Exactly, exactly with, you know what you, I mean? You, you had people that had people like, you know, the, the Ian Rice, the Burkhams, the Henri, the Pivots all coming through and mashing things up. Long so, Berg, yes, I'm, I'm re- I, I would do the same thing at Liverpool. I would love to see, you know, bringing younger players that you could say, you know, you'll develop and make, they'll become big in the club. You're saying Liverpool, you, but you have to bring now. them through But you have to, yeah, you have to bring people, you have bro. to also bring yeah, like bro. winners for now. Big, you're mm-hmm. big statement, Arsenal. big you statement, big statement is true because going back to Man United, remember, you can't win leagues with kids and it, oh, but if you looked at the core of the team but it was the, the, it was big the, man core that was, was pitch had, Michael but they had those Palestine players defense. In, in those positions Can with Antoine experience ones. that's right that's what I'm saying mm-hmm. and that's what I'm mm-hmm. saying mm-hmm. Arsenal don't have that bro it's all use bro it's all yeah. use I no mean spine. we got no oh, look, let's look at the starting 11 so I'm probably going okay Burnley no number one we got that new Japanese right back never seen him play he's, 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 he's proper on my PS though <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we got Ben White, Gabriel. I'm hoping Gabriel looked good from last year. Mm. Um, so he plays, he's left sided. Ben, right, right sided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, my man, he'll be the new um, on the right side. Left back, Tierney. Uh, that's controversial. And my group, I got a group, and a lot of the players now are saying it's the Tavares needs to play instead mm. of Tierney. Tavares, mm. just saying. No, that, he, he looking like a beast. He, he does. Like uh, beast. He, he does yeah. look decent. He goes and forward and, and, and back proper and t- as well. Tin is proper, but mm-hmm. Tavares, but for me, I'll just be real. Nothing's stronger than African black. <laughs> and, mm. and that's how I see it. Mm-hmm. I'll just be honest. I'm just being real, fam. You call me a racist mm. if you want, people. I care. <laughs> you know what I mean? When it comes to a black athlete and a white athlete, I know where I'm going. Yeah, man. Mm. I know where I'm going. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's I mean, what I'm saying. I, so, I think uh, generally way I'd, I'd play. Tierney right now ahead of Tavares is I think because I still say I think last season he was one of the best yeah, Arsenal yeah, players yeah, 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 and yeah. I think he, he's, he's earned the opportunity yeah, he's earned the right, yeah, he's he's earned the right to he's start right. yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Cool. so from there now so then we go to midfield and I'm I'm telling this is the starting 11 I would pick if everybody's fit everybody's mm. fit so my mid to field two um, would be Thomas Party and Sambi but Mikel Artapas <clears throat> we'll play Jacka, who's important to the club, but this is the same Jacka who was flirting with Roma, taking pictures in Rome kits. Arsenal wanted out the door. Marino wanted to take the take the Michael and get him at chump change. Arsenal mm-hmm. didn't want to send him at the chump change, so what do we do? We give him a new contract. 
Yeah, man, so that's a problem. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So that's the kind of manager who mm. this club have employed to put in charge of the mighty, this big club, mm. like you said, bro. This fallen mm. giant, because that's where we are now. Let's be real. We're a fallen giant at this moment in time. And your knees giant, not even falling, we're on the knees giant. But they put this geezer, inexperienced brother, yeah. to manage this big club. They've got another inexperienced brother, yeah. a don't, yeah. to be what he's supposed technical director, whatever. No, yeah. no. And this is where the problem lies. We should have went out and got, brought Mark over Mars back, another legend. Yeah. Another legend. Mm. Should have brought him back as the technical. Mm. And as I says, and I will keep saying, promoting Captain Invincible as the manager. But all right, guys, because Ante is taking us into overtime. Yeah, well, is it, we definitely always overtime. Do. Always, always do. do when it comes to Arsenal, yeah. But let, let, let's let's be straight, yeah. Right, guys, is Arteta going to be walking at the Arsenal team against Tottenham? Yeah, he will be because Arsenal, <laughs> he will against Tottenham this season. I don't know if he'll be walking out the team. Come so January. if he loses Come against, so if he loses against Norwich and Burnley, is he gonna walk out against them? I don't think they'll sack him. You know, I swear to God. Because oh, all right, if you yeah. sack him, if I, you sack him, who are you gonna go and get? Listen, let me just tell you now, Arsenal fans, forget Antonio Conte, forget it. It's not happening because he's not coming to a club yeah, that can't <laughs> challenge. They're big, high-profile managers. You like winning things. Yeah, man. They ain't going to them clubs. Have who a don't, project. Who yeah, don't? Yeah. He's not gonna go there. So forget that. Forget that. So who else is out there? You're gonna and don't please don't come up on my Instagram or come on this program and tell me about um, Sam Dyke. Eddie Howe. <laughs> don't tell me about Eddie Howe. Don't even Sam Aladisha. Forget that. Forget mm. that. And this is what I'm saying, bro. And that's the problem what Arsenal are going to find themselves in right about now. Who do you give the job to? Yeah. Is Brendan, it's a tough one because, is, like is Brendan said, Rodgers going to leave a Leicester yeah. to come to Arsenal? I don't think he is. Mm. And yeah. I don't think he should. Mm. Mm. And mm. I think that's that's the only, um, I would say, like British manager that I would even Consider. give a looking at Arsenal. Yeah. Because right now, like I said, it's not even just the players I say that about, but the managers too, that Arsenal are a big club. You need big players, you need a big manager. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, Brendan Rodgers, even though, okay, you know, Leicester is, is you know, they've won a title well, before him and stuff like that, but he's come in there yeah, and yeah. He's, he's, you know, he's proven through that he's, he knows how to get a team win. Bro, my manager, That's the thing. you've said the right word, he's proven. And people might say, he's not in Scotland, but look what he did with Celtic. They should, mm -hmm. have picked, they should have picked him up before Leicester. Leicester we should have, we should, you know what? A lot of, let, 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 I, I'll let, say this. A lot of my friends on the group said that. Enough people got mugged. Bridge, what are you mad? People were mugging him, <laughs> mugging him off, man. Mm. Saying Brendan yeah, Rodgers. I would Rogers have him at Old Trafford, but I, I would take Brendan Rodgers. Yeah. I would take a Brendan Rodgers, definitely. No, I definitely did. Yeah, 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 pose that same question again now. And maybe, maybe at the time, they say, you pose that same question about Brendan Rodgers in that same group now. They Bro, might they'll, change bite your hand, they'll bite your hand off now. <laughs> yeah. but, but let me just say this: on my group, you still got people saying, "Ah, oh, it's not Arteta's fault." And whose fault is it? Bro, listen. All I know, guys. Yeah, still. Yeah. On that note, guys. I need you to know, have my own Arsenal show. Just on Arsenal. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and let it off there. So, but no, on, on definitely what. Because I don't want to go too much into league fixtures because we need to get the season started, you know what I mean? Because we can mm. talk about things, but it's pure, ga pure gas, man. We need the season. Only, we need 10 games. We need to get 10 games. Like, you know, we can start games. to talk proper. Mm. Has Van Dyke come back properly? Has, has, you know what I mean? You can see, has Ryan really settled? You know yeah. what I mean? Has uh, the R9 uh, uh, bang 10? I need to pose to Ant, though. Is that, okay, <laughs> I, I reckon, um, you know, obviously Arteta is going to be there for the next two games. Mm. Do you think if they go to Tottenham, and Tottenham beat them, that he's still going to keep his job. Because that's a derby game there, and yeah, a big one. Do you know what? I've, I, like I said, did my answer. Because, because Arsenal have get this, oh, it's the process, and, you know, we're going to trust the process and all that. I think... They keep him for 10 games. They'll keep him. I don't... Not for 10. I think... I think he'll... For me, I think really, realistically, he's got until January, I believe. If Arsenal mm. find themselves in the bottom half of the table... Come January, I think realistic, I would expect, as an artist, but I expect, I would expect mm. him, he's got to go. He's had long enough. Because, uh, you see, a lot, I have a, a lot of Arsenal um, arguments with my fellow Arsenal fans because I say, look, we had a better manager in Unai Emery, a proven winning Man manager, manager yeah. in mm. Unai Emery. And he still went afterwards. And he got sacked. You understand? He afterwards, man. He got sacked. So, Arteta... Arteta, for the grace of God, mm -hmm. he won the FA Cup 
and that's his saving grace. But no, um, not for me. Not for me. That just papered over cracks. We, we know there's a lot of internal issues, but again, it's the misman... Arsenal has been so mismanaged in the last 20 years. It's just shocking. It's shocking. Mm. It's all, and we're only starting to see things now because people have had their hands in the till, you know, um, the transfers. You know, I feel... That's why I say I felt sorry for George Graham because George Graham did, did what these last people did. Um, with the Pepe... Look at the Pepe deal. That was because one of those geezers who left financed it and he got like a 20, pa- 20 million pound cut out of it. <laughs> you, you understand? And Arsenal know this and didn't bring no prosecution, hasn't brought him to no justice. We know these things, bro. I mean, you got caught with your hands in the till. Yeah, man. Yeah, but man. George, look what they did to George. But you see, the difference is when George got caught, Hillwood was the, the, the was the was in charge of the club. Mm. And that's when Arsenal was old school. Like yeah, the yeah, Etonian yeah. and everything yeah. was prim and proper. Because we've gone private now with the private... They're just dealing their private things so they, they can't mm. be bothered in justice. They can't be bothered in the justice. They're allowing these people to rob from the club. And that's what's, what's happened. We've been mismanaged in, in such a way. It's shocking, frightening. But so we'll see, guys. We'll see. We'll definitely see what's going on with Arsenal. And uh, we will see. I think when we get to about seven, when we get to the, um, October, I think that's when we start to see players start blooming and, and, and mm. things going on. I just think that um, I think I inter- th- international break just elongates the pain for Arsenal fans. I you think, know what I mean? I think with Arsenal as well, Again, I don't make excuses for, for, the, for the club because, you know, at the end of the day, everybody works on the same thing. You've got 25 players. Man United have 25 players. Liverpool have 25 players. Everybody has the same 25 players. Everybody has the same opportunity to go and buy transfers. The only difference is that some teams spend more than, than others. So my point is this. The one thing I will say, we've had a lot of injuries. We haven't been able to put out starting yeah, 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He you needs understand? that time. He needs so that time. Yeah. I want to see that starting 11 and see where we move from there. Mm. But okay, I don't, I got you. I don't okay. have faith in, in Arteta. Arteta. His, his, his team oh. selections are shocking. That team he put out against Man City, it was, it was bordering and disgraceful. <laughs> How can you oh. play class in that? Just the centre half, fam. Bro, he's another player who was supposed to be surplus to requirements. Mm. He's, playing he's, <laughs> he's playing centre half mm. against Man City. This is what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, what, I think what? I think there's a lot there's a lot to be done, and I think the, the manager is going to be the first starting point. And the reason I say that, apart from maybe the back five at Liverpool, I don't see um, that much difference in terms of quality um, in terms of Arsenal versus Liverpool in terms of the forwards, the attackers. Because before um, Lacazette and Aubameyang came to Arsenal. If you had to give me the choice of those two strikers and the Liverpool ones, I probably would have taken Lacazette and, and Aubameyang. Yeah, they're top strikers. The top ballers, man. The top ballers. And mid, mid, midfielders, again, I don't see there's a massive difference in terms of the, qu- the quality because Hens is not the most fantastic player. Fabinho's a great DM. But again, I feel Arsenal have players that, in, when you look at skill-wise, maybe, mm. it's probably about, about the same place. Mm. So it's only the back five for me, which, which I would probably say I'll, day in, day out, I'll take above the Arsenal yeah, one yeah. But and, and that's um, yeah, again that's a great point else, just, that's a great yeah. point to listen to a, a non-Arsenal opinion because it's great what you're saying bro. I, I, I agree with you 100% and saying that because if you look at when Emery was at the club Aubameyang and Lacazette were playing up for top together and yeah. they was banging yeah, yeah mm. they were they were they, they were, were banging mm. 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 you understand mm. so why does this idiot come in and think he's going to just play the one of them up top and he's going to no He's trying to mm. do some Man City no. thing, man. He's trying you've to do You've got, you've got, th- going back to the Edu interview when he says, we've got two strikers who I believe are going to score over 40 goals. He's talking about Lacazette and Aubameyang because he knows, on paper, these two players are supposed to be scoring 20 plus every season. Yeah. Not struggling yeah. at all. No doubt. Not no struggling doubt. at all. So, why ain't them players, why did Aubameyang have such a difficult season last year? Because Arteta picked a team that didn't, Work to his, his strengths. strengths. Yeah, yeah. And that's what yeah. you got to do. You got to play yeah. to your players' strengths. There's no point buying Lukaku and playing on the ball on the floor all the time because yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. You got to play mm. to your strengths. But we will see, guys, because like I said, guys, uh, I think Anthony uses this as, as part of his therapy to get to, yeah, to you know, say for his, uh, <laughs> you know, say to making sure that. And Mark was just playing into his therapy session there still. Yeah, when I said, Mark, the time's over, man. <laughs> it's gone over his time. Your Mark was like, this, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It's free time. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't it, have been a problem if he was talking about Ronaldo though? <laughs> <laughs> it's seven. We, we can talk about Ronaldo in a couple of weeks. We get Melo on and we'll see how he responds in a couple of weeks. Do we, do, we have to get, do we have to get Melo on? 
<laughs> Respect my brother wherever you're there. Listen, you know, Mellow's Mello's not biased at all, you know what I mean? So No, no he's not. <laughs> Basically guys, we definitely check things out. So hopefully Arsenal will beat beat Norwich and we 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 beat Ante be smiling saying they're gonna win the league and everything in the next couple of weeks. So yes. we, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so so hopefully there'll be some transformations and, and we break down the teams and we we'll see that. But definitely guys, we just wanna salute footballers and I definitely want today's show we we did you know we went through the international games we went through you know um you know we looked at some of the issues that we have with racism that we feel that you know let's let's sort our things out properly in the uk um we're definitely going to reach out to pc uh ward about the whole scenario get him in there with some of the cases that is come to fruition how he feels about that um and we'll, we'll definitely get there man but listen guys thanks again this is roger over and out on the rvm show and this is how we do it on the things extra we be extra Peace. yo Yes. Visit us for updates and shows at affinityextra.co.uk.